All right, in this section here, we're going to be talking about uh, multiplying and dividing rational expressions. So, of course, we get started with an example. You know, some of these steps we've already done, but uh, that just happens to be what this section is, multiplying and dividing, even though it's going to seem like we've already done some of the same stuff. Okay, let's start with... Starting with 5x times y squared, and that's going to be all over 3a times, now this is the multiplication, I'm going to use a dot for multiplication, 2x cubed y and that's going to be over 7 a to the fourth and b and I think up to this point I haven't mixed variables um, like a and x together a and y or a b and y or whatever so alright so we want to simplify this down is, uh, is what we want to do here and so what I'm going to do is we got 5, 2, 3, 7 Okay, so this multiplication here means we can just multiply each one of these terms together. Uh, now that doesn't really make any sense. Okay, I don't know, just watch what I do here. So 5 times 2 is 10, and 3 times 7 is 21. And of course we can't reduce this fraction down. I'm going to just go ahead and put multiplication here. <clears throat> now, we have an x and an x cubed. I'm just going to put them side by side for right now. Trying not to skip any steps. And we have a y squared times a y. And down here in the denominator we have an a times an a to the fourth times b. Okay. We have, now this is to the first power, and we've done this before in the previous sections. We add exponents, right? Our base is the same. We add these exponents. We end up with x to the fourth times, we have a one here, or two here, one here. So this becomes y to the third. It's all over, right? a to the fifth. So it's going to seem like we've been repeating. We've already done this kind of stuff, but that's okay. I'm going to do it again. <coughs> Um, I don't know, I could have wrote it like this, 10x to the 4th, y to the 3rd, and that's all over 21, a to the 5th, and b. And just to say something here, it doesn't matter what order we really kind of write this stuff in, but usually we write, uh, we'll write the variable with the largest exponent first, and then kind of in descending order, really. That's the way that really works out. All right, well, let's, uh, this has been reduced now all the way down, so let's work on another one. All right, let's see. We got uh, 4 s, use some different variables here, s, t over 2 m times 9 m cubed over n and then or over uh, 6t I meant to say 6t to the 8th alright so we want to reduce this down now let's look at uh, our numbers here we got 4 times 9 I'm going to kind of group all these together and then we have 2 times 6 um, s to the 4 so there's really nothing we can group together there t m cubed over n and that's over m times t to the eighth okay uh... let's look at this piece here 